Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you know, I have and always have been an avid supporter of public safety. Uh, as a liaison from this board to the public safety department, I feel that we have not only the best trained, but one of the most respected departments in the state, if not indeed in the southeast. And they're indeed the envy of other departments and jurisdictions. There's been numerous calls for a civilian review board. We have in place a neighborhood safety commission that does fill some of that. But in the 25 years that I have, plus that I've lived in Cobb County, I don't recall of any incidents where there has been any necessity or reason to have a review board. In fact, our department has a national certification from the Commission on Accreditation of Law Enforcement Agencies, which very small percent of agencies have nationwide. Those policies are reviewed annually and then reviewed and audited by that commission every three to five years. So in fact, the implication that we have policies that need to be changed are reviewed I think are in fact wrong. In regards to the incident, and I have empathy with Commissioner Cupid, that occurred in that area, uh, I did do some research and have done some research, and in fact we worked together with our public safety and the hotel uh, coalition here in Cobb County to address these issues that are happening throughout Cobb County, mainly along the interstates, and number of break-ins have increased considerably and we're actively working to address that with the hoteliers. In fact, the area in question around Six Flags in July alone had 177 entering autos. The fact that it's been implied that these only occurred after this instance is false. The fact is that it has occurred and continues to occur. And in this one particular zone or beat, less than 3% of Cobb County residents live there and yet it accounts for well over 22% of all crime in the county. So obviously public safety is needed, public safety resources needed to address those issues, and I feel that our public safety team is actively, proactively pursuing those. I feel that, that unfortunately this incident and this problem has become a distraction to this board I prefer to be about the business of the county with as little politics as possible and attention to detail for all the citizens of Cobb County. I think whether intentional or non-intentional, I believe this instance has cast aspersions on our public safety department and I believe that Commissioner Cupid owes an apology to them and that possibly she should consider attending the next public citizens police academy so she can actually understand from an officer's point of view, what goes on. I believe and know that she supports Cobb County and our community and that she has in the past and will continue to support public safety. But this particular thing has created a vision that, in my view, may impede her ability to govern uh, her district in the proper way. And I, for one, uh, believe that our public safety group, including 911, fire, sheriff, there is, is second to none in the best in the country. Thank you. Thank you.